we're talking about it. This is the first of probably a few episodes talking about my hair regrowth microneedling procedure. Let's pray this works. What's up strong friends? Welcome back to my YouTube. This is probably going to feel like a really uncomfortable thing for me to talk about, but I think it's really important. And that's my hair loss. I am currently going through recovery, if that's what we want to call it. I don't know, treatment for the hair regrowth. Honestly, I feel super ick just talking about this. It is, I feel like I almost want to cry. Like it is something I'm very embarrassed to talk about. Oh, I'm getting emotional. I was not expecting this. It's just something that has to happen. So I'm hoping that as I talk about this, it's going to help me, but I hope that it helps someone else. So a few weeks back on Instagram, I had posted that I am getting a process called microneedling done on my hair. It is commonly something that people get done, I'd say usually women, but men as well, for face. And that would be to open up pores and allow more oxygen and flow and just clean things up. How I like to describe microneedling is, you know, in the spring when you have like your grass lawn and they have that little machine that goes and like digs out those little poop shapes <laughs> of the dirt and it like it's it's for better like oxygen oxygen and it can like nourish and kind of just like make the grass more alive and like freshen up the earth that is basically how i feel the microneedling does with the hair follicles so i guess for a little bit of context in terms of my hair history i have always had very thin hair when i was younger my mom used to put little barrettes in my hair but she would have to velcro them just for context like that's that's the thickness of my hair. For the most part, it's always been like that. Over the last, I would say, year and a half, it has gotten a lot thinner. The amount of hair that would fall out on a daily basis is usually double what it used to be, let's say, five years ago. This time last year, it was about four times that much. Like, it was a lot. Up until last year, I, had a, I was getting hormone replacement therapy done, but only testosterone for probably about three years. And it wasn't an insane amount. It was just to boost up my testosterone levels. I didn't want to boost up my estrogen and progesterone just my testosterone it was great it helped my training performance I had no side effects like I wasn't I didn't notice hair loss because of that but I did notice now that obviously I'm looking back at it I did notice one of my competitions I will post a photo here I had like kind of not really a bald spot but kind of and I was like oh that's weird and I never really thought anything of it and I'm like it's it is what it is my hair's just always been thin then this time last year so it was May 2022 just after my wedding I got a different round of hormone replacement therapy where we did testosterone estradiol progesterone and DHA EA all very small amounts less testosterone this time than the most I had gotten before when I was just getting the TRT aside from having a lot more side effects and this isn't side effects like bad things happened it was like my body was reacting almost like any female's body would react where I would feel discomfort and bloated and I would have extra water retention and things like that. So monthly PMS symptoms. I did notice at that time that I had a lot of hair falling in and that basically began my process of like, how the fuck am I going to fix this? So I went to my doctor, my gynecologist, and I talked to her about it. She had recommended some shampoo. I had another girlfriend that was a, that is a hairstylist. She had recommended another shampoo. I ended up going to a dermatologist who recommended I take minoxidil, which is basically the main ingredient or the active ingredient in Rogaine. It is very effective. It didn't work for me. It's not going to work for everybody. I tried the spray, the minoxidil spray, I was putting it on every night. I tried the medication, like the actual pills. I was also taking finasteride. I had over time increased the dose of both of those. I had noticed the side effects of those. I had a lot of water retention and that wasn't helping the hair loss. And it was also hurting my competition prep. So I had to make the decision of if I'm going to keep using this and hope that it eventually like pays off with hair regrowth or downregulate it and basically wean off of it and cut it out because it wasn't better benefiting my competition prep. In the last year, I have gone through increases of collagen, biotin, which I've heard biotin doesn't even help with hair growth, so I ended up cutting that out. Increasing medications, increasing supplements, doing different hairsprays. I ended up doing a kind of like a hair DNA, not even a D, I don't even know, a DNA test where they basically 
took a microscope into my hair and basically what they see now they saw this two months ago but they see this now is a normal hair follicle usually has about three to five strands of hair in each hair follicle most of mine have one and I don't know how much my hair was like this years ago before all the TRT and HRT and I am not saying that TRT and HRT directly cause hair loss I'm sure there was an accumulation of things happening and this is what it is I'll also add in photos here of this was like my starting point my before this is before my first hair treatment that I am now getting done so this is this is my before what I am getting done now I have found a doctor here and he does microneedling on my face and he is now going to be doing microneedling on my hair so this is a process that we should start to see results within hopefully three to four months like noticeable results so fingers crossed this is working I am getting treatments done I have to get, there's two treatments. There's the injections, which by the way are fucking painful. And then there are the, there's the, the derma pen, which is the microneedling derma pen is the actual like name of the pen. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, well, you have alopecia, which is basically like male or female pattern, bald, baldness pattern hair loss, which is usually like the common side effect, whether it's um, with hormone replacement therapy or TRT, or sometimes when females are taking anabolic steroids, they will have the alopecia, which is like the hair loss. Mine is different because I don't have one spot that's just like going bald it is basically just like thinning all over but more so like the typical crown area not not the under which is nice so basically what we're doing we're doing two different procedures right now we're doing the painful injection which is happening once every six weeks thankfully I only have to get like four of those three or four of those done then we are doing the microneedling which is like the little I would consider it if you've never seen this before if you've had a tattoo and it's like a pen but it has all these little needles in it and it's like basically that in my hair that one doesn't hurt so this is my simplified version of how I think all of this is happening so the issue is coming from my hair follicles what we have to do is block there there is a hormone that is basically like blocking the hair growth and we need to block that blocker we need we need to cut that out so that the hair can start growing a little bit more it is not okay when you have a patch of grass let's say our backyard and when the grass is sparse we will add in nutrients we will add in miracle grow and we'll water it just adding in more nutrients and giving it more extra care in order to stimulate the grass seeds that are already there and make them flourish even more then on the opposite side we would have our lawn and let's say we have a dead patch and there is no more grass seed there we need to basically start fresh I don't have the dead patch I don't have I don't have the soil I have the grass seed that needs some extra love so what's happening with these injections these injections by the way are painful you're sticking a needle into my scalp and you can hear it and it it just fucking sucks but it has to happen basically these needles are injecting nutrients let's call it the miracle grow and we need that miracle grow to stimulate more follicular health into my hair follicles in order that when we do the derma pen the derma pen is gonna open up all these little holes and I'm gonna have all these nutrients and all these little hair minions are gonna be happy so then we have the derma pen and just like I described near the beginning of this video it's like when you not fertilized but it's like oxygenating the grass and you have like that little roller machine that goes over and picks out all the like the little poop pieces you know exactly what I'm talking about that's basically what happens with the derma pen so the derma pen goes through and it creates all these tiny little micro punctures into my scalp and on my skin and basically it opens up more space for oxygen for these follicles to like breathe and to get out and to get their their nutrients and stuff so that is basically what we are doing so hopefully over the process of the next few months we will start to see this hair growth and basically my current hair follicles should be more nourished so my hair should be more vibrant it should be thicker it should be stronger less hair falling out and then I should be developing new hair growth as well I don't know exactly how that's gonna look but I'm really excited for it so the difference between if I was to get microneedling or let's just call it hair transplants or stem cells because so, I had asked the doctor I'm like what is the difference the stem cell would be like if I had that dead spot of dirt and I needed to put new grass there that would be the stem cell so if I had a bald spot and I had no hair growth there like there were no hair follicles the whole thing was like freaking dead we would take stem cells and we would inject them 
there to create new growth. I have the hair follicle growth. It is all still there. I don't have any dead spots. We just need to miracle grow the shit out of my hair right now. So it is the beginning of April 2023 right now, and we are just beginning this process. So we're going to see what happens. This is part one of the video. I don't know how many series this is going to be, but this is where we're at. If you have any questions about any of this, I don't know everything, but please ask in the comments below. You can always send me a message. If I don't know the answer, I can ask my doctor. And if you do have questions, if you live in Cancun and you want this doctor's connection, I can very happily provide this information to you. But this is where we're at. And I'm proud of myself for not crying. It's very embarrassing, but here we are. Okay, peace out, strong friend.